what do you need to bring on your ride? Here are my top choices. Number one, lights. Even during the day, I never ride without these bad boys. Front, rear, always on, so I can be seen by any motorist, no matter what time of day it is. These lights are rechargeable, and I make sure to charge them after every ride so they're not dead for the next ride. Number two is a flat kit. If you get a flat tire and don't want to be left stuck on the side of the road or calling your buddies, you're going to need a flat kit. This includes spare tubes, tire levers, maybe even some patches. You also need a mini pump or a CO2 inflator and cartridges. A multi-tool can also be very helpful. Number three would be water and food. Very important. It's never fun to run out of energy while on the road. It's a good idea to bring a couple of gels, bars, or chews on your ride. And of course, water to keep you hydrated. Number four would be warmer clothes. It depends on the season and where you live, but if there's a chance of rain, or if you're feeling a bit chilly that day, you'll be glad you brought a vest, arm warmers, or a rain jacket with you. Number five is cell phone and cash. Maybe one of the most important items after lights is a phone. In a worst case scenario, you can always call a friend for a rescue. Bringing your ID and your buddy's cash is also a great idea. I like to use a Bontrager Pro Ride Wallet. It keeps everything nice and neat, plus it's waterproof. It also slides easily into your jersey pocket for safekeeping. Depending on the cell service, you may also want to bring a map. As you can see, it seems like a lot of stuff, but if you pack it strategically and follow my tips, you'll barely notice it's there. Use your jersey's back pockets for the stuff you want to reach without getting out of the saddle. Keep your cash, phone, credit card, and ID in a side pocket for easy access. Clothing items like a vest or jacket can be rolled up and tucked in the middle jersey pocket. And snacks, oh, those go in your mouth. or the remaining side pockets. Everything is weighted nice and evenly. Packing your flat kit in a saddle bag will keep the tools tucked out of the way. Pack your tools in the bag, then strap it around the saddle rails and seat posts. CO2 inflator and cartridges can be tucked nicely in the bag along with tubes, tire levers, patches, and a multi-tool. But if you'd like to take a mini pump instead, this will need to go in your jersey pocket or strapped to your bike's frame. The last step, is to attach these to the handlebar and the seat post so they're pointed toward the horizon, making sure your rear light isn't covered by the bag. Finally, strap on your helmet and you're ready to roll. Check out trekbikes.com or your local Trek retailer to find all the storage solutions you need for smooth sailing.